Hi, I'm David Robson and uh, I'm here at Purple Valley for Purple Valley Asana School. Uh, I'm going to talk about jump backs and jump throughs. Uh, you know, I, I could go on and on and describe all these different techniques to you about how to do it, um, but I think this session I'm just going to give you a little bit of a pep talk. So the pep talk is, is that you have to find some way to work when you're doing the jump back and jump through. And the problem is, is that they're so hard. And it's actually easier when you can just cross your legs and float your feet back and through. It's always easier when you can do the pose, right? But when you don't know what you're doing or you just can't find some way to uh, connect to the work, you can feel a little bit lost. Um, so what I want to emphasize is that you have to learn how to really push your weight down into your hands. You have to keep your hands pressing into the floor, even if you're just shuffling your feet back through or crawling back or dragging your body through your arms. Okay, so when you get set up, I'll just say I'm having trouble lifting off the floor. So um, right now I have to uh, put my hands down and rock forward and then get my feet back and through. Now, I know this is a much easier way to do it. If you just rock onto your hands forward and jump back from here, but it's going to take forever to build strength. And what you want to be doing as often as possible in your practice is finding the most difficult version that you can do of the jump back. So uh, this one is pretty hard um, and you could try to do it as often as possible. And then when you get too tired, you revert back to the lazy one. I mean, the one you usually do. Okay. So start with your hands behind your feet. Spin your arms in, and then press down through the index knuckles. You have to keep your hands flat. Push into the hands so that your bum lifts off the floor. And then start to take little baby steps through. Little baby steps, and you have to keep pushing down through the hands. Once the feet get back behind the hands, then you're going to do a jump. And you're going to jump straight up and then bend the elbows so that you land in chaturanga. So pushing into the hands, try to keep the thighs close to your body, jump up and then bend the elbows to come down. Same thing going forward, just in reverse. When you inhale, you step or you hop, cross your legs, don't sit down. Push into the hands. This is where it gets hard. You don't want to quit, don't quit. Push into your hands, walk your feet through and then you get to sit down. So I know it's not pretty, and sometimes it takes more than one breath, or you have to take extra breaths, so it's hard to do the correct vinyasa. But doing this work will lead to you being able to just float the legs back and through. See, that was easy. Okay, I'm David, <laughs> and this is Purple Valley Asana School.